Hey guys. Hey, got uh, a little bit of a new tidbit of info here. Mr. Happy yesterday, he came on the uh, underneath the video and he said uh, he noticed some discrepancies in what I've been saying about the ghost satellites 13, 14, and 15 that are measuring the uh, solar wind speed in our inner magnetosphere that I've been highlighting in fact yesterday it was 2164 kilometers per second and I just assumed that they were being it was being measured by those GOES 13 14 and 15 satellites so uh, apparently that's not true here's what he did he uh, went on to the ISWA site and if you drag your cursor over here, it comes up with a little description box. And it suggests here that uh, he was reading this part down here about Ace doing the measurements. But since 2011, the SWMF model, and I can't uh, move the cursor or the thing will go away. But if you look down toward the bottom of this, this, this uh, description box, that's popped up and you should click down here on the lower right hand corner so you get full screen so you can read this or you can go in and check it out yourself since 2011 they've also included an RCM model for the intermagnetosphere and I looked into it this RCM model what it is is it's a uh, and here's what I put underneath for the final answer. Got it. If you read further, it says the newest 2011 version includes the RCM model in the inner magnetosphere. <clears throat> Good catch. Apparently, it's quite a bit more complicated than just taking readings from the GOES satellites. In fact, they are weather satellites only. My bad. Thanks. I was wrong about where the data was coming from, and I stand corrected on that point. But nonetheless, my interpretations are correct. The magnetic the me measurements aren't coming from ACE since they in fact only measure what's coming from the sun out at the L1 Lagrange point. As I've been saying, since 2011, the RCM modeling, what we are being shown on ISWA of our inner magnetosphere is done by computers and it's very complicated for me anyway to understand completely. But here's some of the links. So you can go in there and click on those links if you want. But basically, it's still uh, the same deal. The solar wind speed stuff and everything's being measured inside the inner magnetosphere. It's coming from uh, this RCM modeling. And it's not coming from ACE, which is out at the L1 Lagrange point. And this is in my description box under that. Well, it's under L1 Lagrange point. Here's the L1 Lagrange point where the ACE and the Discover satellites are. So everything I've been saying is all true. I just was incorrect on where the data was coming from. I just assumed it had to be coming from those geosynchronous satellites in orbit around the Earth at 22,236 miles. But uh, apparently those are just old, older weather satellites. I looked it up. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I stand corrected. However, it really, it's a minor point in my humble opinion because this stuff's still not coming from ACE. It's coming from, it's being, it's being measured inside our magnetosphere, just like I've been saying. And it's coming from Nemesis. It has to be. So anyway, last night we had another high-speed solar wind event. It only lasted about an hour and a half at uh, 2351 UTC, which is about 1151 Eastern Standard Time. No, I'm sorry. Which is about... 
651 21 yeah 651 eastern standard time went up to 909 1322 1354 1169 1246 1317 1363 1447 1190 these are all four minute intervals here so you got to assume that it's high all the way through this run 15 13 11 20 14 73 11 13 9 and 6 7 20 6 88 5 79 8 of 3 and it died down so 803 was the last big number And it's still looking pretty pretty funky. So at 103, so that's about an hour and 20 minutes or thereabouts. We'll get these playing again. So I got these two synced back up. These two are synced. It's uh but they don't exactly jive with these. So there's the event. See it getting all squirreled around. Drag it through for you. Still see all the Nemesis interplanetary magnetic field lines, the blue behind the planet and reaching out all around the planet now, really. So we're like in a cage. And that thing turned blue pretty quick. So it already connected with Nemesis. So they leave, they're streaming along their polar cap, they're black. If they close, they loop back around and close with the earth, they turn red. That's why they're called closed field lines. Normally these just happen just right around the earth, right around the poles, from pole to pole. They don't usually extend out very far. But they're having to extend out in order to try to expel all this plasma that's building up around the planet so anytime they turn blue they've connected with something behind the planet which would be nemesis so they're already turning blue there see they're red then they turn blue so i mean that shows tells me that we have a pretty weak magnetosphere Normally the red would extend way out here like it's doing there. And it's doing there. Okay, here's one the uh twenty-three I think it was. This is when the high speed event happened. Look at that. Wow. You can still see a lot of field lines piling in here, but we're getting a lot of voids, so. And we're getting some fluctuations. And every once in a while you see these little field lines peeking through. I mean, who knows what it looks like if it was real time and we got to see every second of this run. We're only getting to see every four minute increment. <clears throat> so I got those three synced up pretty well. Let's look at the geospace. The geospace, this is the density. So I, I would guess these are all being measured by. Uh, This is an RCM model too. There's the velocity. There's the uh, Y cut we see on ISWA looking straight across the planet. There's the Z cut looking straight down. 
Now earlier I saw a big sploosh where it went out this far. Let's see if it's still showing up. It's right at the beginning of the run. Right at 9.30 something UTC. Should be getting ready to flip here. Uh, we're not seeing it anymore. I could show it to you on here though. See that? 9.31. We had some kind of a big influx from behind. It pushed the magnetopause way out. Secondary bow shock way out here. I had it on geospace. I don't know where it went. For some reason that run updated itself, I guess. I don't know. And uh, no longer seeing it. You can see it there. See it here. 9.30. So we got big opening. And... 943. Let's see what it looks like here. Not as pronounced there. So I was looking at uh, <clears throat> Ace and Discover. Discover. Everything looks pretty steady right now. Solar wind densities up around six, six and a half. Wind speed 475. Phi angle, of course, that's been coming down a little bit. Sort of trending more down toward closer to a stronger sun to earth connection, but it's still showing up in the high, in the low 300s there. So that's still a nemesis. Stronger connection. Uh, here's the, uh, what we're, they were speculating for today. Solar wind speed's about right where they have it pegged. 475 and the density up around 5. So that's not a whole lot different. This ACE, the gaps. we got a double gap now. 2100 to 2330. So there's two and a half hours there. And then from 0300 to say 0730. That's four and a half hours there. So that's about eight hours total. We got two gaps instead of just that one big one. It was like 11 hours yesterday. So once again, I encourage you to look in the description box. Pull up this solar ham uh, tutorial. This will explain the phi angle. Why for sure we're connected with something behind the earth. Anything above 180 would indicate a backside connection. And I'm... Really glad that uh, Mr. Happy came in there and, and gave us some fresh information. And I updated my solar wind hypothesis with that information instead of mentioning the GOES satellites. But still, I think everything that I've speculated on holds true. And um, so when you're in here, click on my two hypotheses, click reply, and then you'll get the second one. I still think we're probably getting hooked up with some kind of a coronal hole stream from Nemesis because it's happening every day right around the same time. It's a small coronal hole, obviously, because it's only like an hour and a half to two and a half hour event each day. But nonetheless, the regularity is uh, quite striking. So read those hypotheses and uh, appreciate the constructive comments. Because like I s said from the beginning, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a mathematician. All I'm doing is uh, just using my basic critical thinking skills and the 2 plus 2 method equals this. So doing the best I can um, if somebody else was out there who had a lot more knowledge than me would be putting out the truth I wouldn't be in here doing this but sadly that's not the case so <coughs> anyway thanks for listening I'm running out of time God bless peace and